Hey everyone, so while we've been a little bit distracted by Angry Birds Epic of late, it turns out that Angry Birds Go has just released its Sub-Zero DLC expansion. So now we can play around on some icy and snowy tracks, or at least that's my hope. So let's take a look at that stuff and see what's going on. So if we scroll all the way to the right here, you'll see a preview of the Sub-Zero expansion. On top of that, Angry Birds now has daily events where you can earn coins and gems. We'll take a look at that in a moment too. Uh, but first up, let's have a look at the Sub-Zero levels. And here we go. So, new carts to check out. We've got the Tar Barreler. The Slushy Slider. The Snowshoe. The Shred Sled. The Chuck Ice. I like in that one. Nice little ice cream. Ice cream scoop on the end there. Mr. Plow. And the Blue Cornet. And last but not least, the Arctic Roller. Ooh, that's a bit of a nice one. Now, you'll note that all of these cost gems to buy rather than actual money. So that's an interesting little change. Obviously, you can buy the gems with money and thus then buy the carts, but you can also earn gems, and you can earn those gems from the daily events too. So here we can see that Rovio are getting a bit more savvy towards people's uh, concerns around the in-app purchases of the carts being so expensive. Uh, let's take a look quickly at how much the gems cost and we can get an idea of what's going on here. So, you can buy some carts on really basic prices there. £1.49 for a virtual cart. That's not too bad, I don't think. What else have we got in here? We can buy gems. So, 200 gems will cost you £3. But when we're looking at large amounts of gems... So, it's 6,500 gems for £70. And it's 9,000 gems to buy the top Sub-Zero cart. Now... I'd suggest that that's perhaps even worse than the situation was before because the top carts did cost that kind of money before and now perhaps they're more expensive. But at the same time the trade-off is you can earn the gems yourself and work your way towards it. Might take you a while to get to 9,000 though. So it's a bit of a toss up there. Make your, your own mind. Also power-ups, you can buy power-ups with the gems too. And we got a selection there. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't have that particular cart. Let's go way back to the start. You'll notice the price has dropped quite significantly. The first four carts, you're only getting up to one and a half thousand gems. And then, you know, down to 180. And this one, which is 2,000, which I can't actually buy right now because I've only got 1,900. Although I could buy the Sub-Zero cart for a hundred gems. What I'm going to do instead is go out and do the daily event, win myself some coins, and then let's buy the cart. So, let's see how I get on today. I can use power-ups, and here we've got a description of the power-ups. Let's see how I get on without. Oh, not off to a good start. The game does seem to be running a bit faster than it used to as well. I don't know whether they've made um, improvements there to the speed of the game, but certainly on the iPad 3 that I'm playing it on now, it feels a little bit more responsive, a little bit uh, quicker. Big jump there. Go around the inside. Power slide that around the inside. Hopefully, we can get out in front. Now, question is, I don't know what my racer's power-up is. Oh, that was a really 
bad crash. Not good at all. My driving skills failing me big time. But I can still I can still get in there and steal this, I'm sure. Well, I'm quite far behind first, so maybe I should just concentrate on getting the coins. Oh, another crash. Not good. I didn't see the uh, turn in the track there. Now I'm backwards. And so is Stella. And it's all going horribly wrong. But that's what these Let's Plays are all about. Watching how rubbish I am. So, didn't have the speed for that this time. So we'll go down this way. I'm in second, but I am a long way from first. I would be very surprised. In fact, I think Bomb may have crossed the finish line already. So, second place. I did pick up some coins, though. Did I pick up enough? I did, and I got a day one bonus. So I now have enough money, even though I failed, to go and buy the cart I need. So, here we go. 2,000 gems, uh, coins rather, and I have the Tar Barreler, which is rubbish, but it should do the job. Okay, let's have a look at our choices now. So, we have some races. Can I do the one in the middle? Can't do the one in the middle because I need my Tar Barreler to be faster. So, uh, oh, the ice cream one looks good. Should we go with an ice splat? Let's do that. Okay, here we go. Hoping that I have to race through some ice creams now. Look at that. Look at that cart. The shoe cart on the end that the pig's riding. Awesome. Okay. So very much like the fruit levels that we had previously. Oh, bad start for me again. You're racing through all this stuff. Oh, these tracks are precarious. Looks like the power-ups for each character have also got new symbols, too, from the last time I checked this out. So, Red Bird has a kind of nitro power. But on these levels, it's all about collecting or splatting foods. Now, in this case, ice creams on the screen. You've got to splat as many as you can. Oh, here's a good opportunity to do a lot more. Whoa. Obviously, on these levels, it's a little bit tougher because you're sliding around all over the place. So, still got lots to splat. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a nice line. There's a nice line. Can I get my way through them? Oh, yes. And I have splattered everything. And now, I have coins. And let's nitro that over the finish line. Perfect. Job done. And I have 500 coins. Maybe I can upgrade my cart. Uh, handling might be quite handy on these ice tracks. Oh, too much money for handling. Too much money. Oh, I don't have enough money. This is not good. Let's check out another level quickly. What should we have a look at? Uh, time trial versus. Let's go versus. So I'm taking on, oh, it now shows the CC values of each of your opponents. Awesome stuff. So I'm taking on the blues. I have a slight CC advantage. But will it be enough? Oh, lands right on top of him. Take that. I do like the uh, designs of these ice levels. They're looking really cool. Man, it's so hard to handle. And this cart is rubbish. But you can just get those slides around the corner just right. Got plenty of coins. Here we go. Here's another one. I'm guessing that Rovio would have loved to have had this out in time for the Winter Olympics. It's a shame they didn't quite make it because it would have been uh, a perfect title. Oh, that's another good start. I'm still in the lead, but the Blues are now catching. I've lost a bit of momentum there. We'll navigate our way around the sides here. Picking up the coins. Oh, slip sliding around. 
Looking good though, looking good. Still in front of the Blues. Still in front, and I think it might be time. Oh, some speed! Oh, and I missed all the coins. But I am going to finish in first. And a nice round, 80,000 score. Three stars! Say that! Coin doubler, so you can pick up a coin doubler to uh, to get some extra coins, quite obviously. So, what do I go for? Part of me wants to go for the handling, but part of me also wants some acceleration in there. That gives me plus 13 on my CC. Let's go for acceleration, why not? Let's be brave. Cart upgraded. Still can't race in the main event, so that's giving you a sampler anyway of Angry Birds Go Sub-Zero. You can check out those levels now on the Angry Birds app, get them downloaded and start slip sliding around and checking out those new carts. Now that's all we have time for today on Family Gamer TV. Stay tuned for more Let's Plays of this and Angry Birds Epic, the role playing game from Rovio that features the Angry Birds characters and of course all the other good content we have here. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing and leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this Let's Play and Angry Birds Go in general. Are you having fun with it? Who's your favourite character? Those kind of things and I'll be sure to get back to you in the comments. Until next time, stay tuned to Family Gamer TV.